Britain once controlled an empire in which the sun never set. That was until after the Weltkrieg, where Germany had been victorious. And now the population of Britain's workers had risen up and forced the royal family to flee to Canada, and in its place the Union of Britain was born, a syndicalist powerhouse with few allies. Now as Germany's empire grows stale, losing grip as the world's leading power, it is the Union of Britain's chance to take revenge, all starting with solidifying the spread of friendly regimes around the world, beginning with countries such as Ireland. But another enemy, the Entente, wings over America and the Japanese rising sun in the east. Anything is possible. Hi, I'm Colonel Cam and welcome to 17 years as the Union of Britain in Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiserreich. Hello guys and welcome to another Kaiserreich video where we play 17 years as the Union of Britain. Really quickly before we do get into the video, please like and subscribe. A lot of time and effort does go into these videos and I'd really appreciate it if you took the time to press the subscribe button, press the like button and even leave a comment down below, I'll really appreciate it. Anyway, enough yapping from me. The year 1936 begins with a trade union congress. The 1936 Trade Union Council begins. After weeks of preliminary meetings and preparation, today the main part of the Trade Union Congress of 1936 has begun. The various factions of the Congress have sent their delegates and their leaders to London to argue for their position. We shall see what happens. So this trade union concession basically decides who's going to be ruling our country between the Fed cons, the, the radical socialists, and the totalists. So there's three options here, and depending on what we vote, it's going to be running our country. And, uh, well, you're going to find out very soon who I do, in fact, choose to rule the country. It's to resign his post immediately and have an intern committee take his place until the final ballots are cast. The country is shocked. In a few days' time, the TUC will have a vote on the new chairman. Shocking, to say the least. There we go. 50 political power we lose. That's uh, not good. But we retire Philip Snowden, and we have the committee, committee in charge now. Look at him. It's a, it's a building in charge of our country. It's good. <laughs> Being voted in. So, look at him. There he is with his... Uh, oh, he looks like he's from Wales. or Is this what... Ireland. Why would he be... Why would he be from Ireland? With the... Just focus. <laughs> What am I talking about? All right, now we could just go down to home rule, give us extra political power. Yes, I chose the radical socialists. Now, I didn't choose the totalists because they were ruled by Oswald Mosley, and we have actually played Oswald Mosley in a previous video in Vanilla Hoy 4, and I wanted to switch things up. So the next most interesting option was the radical socialist party, and you can do like devolution where then Scotland and Wales become their own independent states, but still your puppets or something. You'll see. Home rule, there we go. We should be getting a little bit more political power every day now. Oh. No, we need to focus on actual important stuff like our army and the industry and the navy and the the international. We get people like us a bit more inside the international. I think we should focus on industry though. Look at this. The common land, resource gain efficiency, monthly population and max factories in state. Yes, I'll get that. Now, very early in the game, we had some very good luck. Finland was actually going to be a, a socialist country now. They would join the Third International, which meant it wasn't just good for me. It was also good for Russia, because Russia would have a way smaller front against the, the Reichspakt now. Fall of the Kingdom of Finland. Oh, look at that. That's good, because they normally join the Reichspakt. Okay, let's sign a non-aggression pact. Let's just be friends with Finland right now. Maintain officer autonomy is finished. Okay, now I want to reform the army, so we're going to reinforce the Republican army, give us 50 army experience so that we can use to fix the things that are happening in our army that are not particularly great, like some of these templates. I mean, it's decent, but uh, we need more artillery, right? And as 1937 begins... Uh, so does the American Civil War. And you already know which side we're going to be supporting. The communist states, or I think it's actually the syndicalist states of America. The Piet, the, what is it? The s some I don't know. But we support them. And we also send some other volunteer forces around the world. Oh, Spain. Yes, let's send volunteers to Spain. How many can we do? One? Are you serious? All right, we'll send this one dude. There you go. Okay. I am going to have to intervene. Oh, we can just do, we can just support them from here. Yeah, okay, we'll just send 2,000 guns there. Hopefully they win. Dunno. Um, sending volunteers is kind of like, oh, right, it's so far away and it's like barely, oh my gosh, there's New England. It's barely like even, 
gonna do anything, you know? Due to our lack of ability to send more than one man over to foreign wars, I wasn't very motivated to send a volunteer group to America because it was just one dude and it wasn't gonna make much of a difference, so I just clicked that button and just lend lease them a bunch of equipment. That Hungary wins this war. Like, imagine, like, you do this, right? Like, this happens. You, you play as Hungary. Oh, they've only got the- okay, so they're definitely not meant to win. They've just got the standard focus tree. But, uh, imagine- is there a way that Hungary wins? Like, what happens? The formation of the Moscow Accord. There it is. Oh, we got, a uh, Dmitry Romanov. Alright. Sweden joined the Reichs Pact. 1936 Dutch elections. The Finnish Socialist Republic has joined the Third International. Wow, okay, we got some- so right, Sweden, Finland, the relations are definitely at the all-time low, at the, at the lowest point they've ever been. We got the King Gustav, right? We played as him recently. He's in the Reich's Pact, and then we got uh, this guy. Now, there's one thing I noticed about Kaiserreich is that it, the game is generally very linear. Like you have a lot of paths, right? But they all generally lead to you're still the same like ideology, and all the same wars still happen. Like Germany gets declared on by Russia, and the Syndicalists, and the Entente, and Germany work together, and then whoever defeats, the blah blah blah. It's just kind of like the same thing. So I was wondering, does Kaiser Redux make it different, and is Kaiser Redux better? So we can go down here. We can dissolve the National TUC, and we just lose 10 percent stability and wales and scotland will become independent once devolution is complete or we can do a new capital and it's the same thing with wales and scotland but uh we we have a new capital called west midlands however i did do a little pre-reading about what happens if you should do this path and if you change your capital uh, you do not get a new name where if you keep your capital as london you become the union of england or something so i'm gonna keep it because i want to be called a new name all right so Dissolve the National TUC, right? Get rid of that. Yes, as radical socialists, we were going to dissolve uh, Scotland and Wales from our union and become separate but very closely friendly United Nations. It does make complete sense as radical socialists. So this is the path we're going down because it was the second most interesting. And we become the Union of England instead of Britain, which is interesting as well. Let's just, oh, we can even go to, we can go to partial mode now. Okay, hang on, let's just, let's look, okay, we're gonna do something I don't do. We're gonna actually look through all of them, okay? Army experience, that's average. Decryption power, don't care. This is okay. Experience, soldier losses, negative 10%. That'll be good, but when we're at war, so not right now. No. Monthly pop product efficiency. Oh, oh no, I, I, I didn't mean to click that one. I may have accidentally clicked it, but it was a still pretty good advisor. Anyway, uh, Austria-Hungary just collapsed. Declared war on the Austrian Empire. Whoa. Looks like they're, they're completely falling apart. Okay, good. This is good. Illyria? Oh, they don't even need help. I didn't even need a help. Why does Czechia own that? They've joined the Reichs Pact. Oh, they're all joining the Reichs Pact? Wait, these guys are in the Belgrade Pact, though. These guys are joining the Reichs Pact. Wait, nope. These guys... Do oh, dear. Do they just get absorbed by Poland? They fully just got absorbed by Poland. Uh, and then, obviously, Poland. And but this is almost hard to mine for. Vanilla. This is almost real, real life. And now Germany was stronger as 1937 draws to a close. Wow. Is that what the, the Taliban was going on? No, I'm just kidding. All right. The most interesting proposal has been, okay, blah, blah, blah. Trading tea for arms. All right, give us tea. We want your tea. I would now argue that the Reichs Pact was a lot stronger now because now that Austria-Hungary had completely destroyed itself, all of the little all little bits of it joined the Reichs Pact, and they were all forming their own army with their own industries, and it's going to be a lot harder now. We get amphibious tanks. Add them to Marines. What do you say? That sounds like a brilliant idea. It sounds like a superb idea. This Republic of Italy just became like the whole thing, and now they're at war here. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. They're going to beat the Italian Republic. Let's go. Now that Italy was reunited under syndicalism, that would be a vital ally for us. Another very good, strong ally against the Reichs Pact. With Finland as well, and me and France, there's no way we could lose. Romania joined the Reichs Pact? What? Jeez, man, that is so many people in their faction. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to beat that? Oh, we did just get the amphibious tank. Amphibious tank. Cool. We got our uh, amphibious tank going. All right, I hope that's of a decent quality. There we go. Italy officially joined the Third International. Officially good, despite the Reichs Pact being very big. 
It's all good. That means Russia won't have the Finnish border to worry about either. All right, it's 1939 and something had to be done about that country next to us called Ireland. You know, it's pro-German, we can't have that, so uh, invade. I'm gonna start going towards Ireland now. So we're gonna do a show of force. We'll do this show of force event. And uh, maybe we could get Ireland, you know, just under the, away from German influence. Yes. We're gonna do the Irish one, all right? Send the Grand Fleet towards Ireland. We're gonna show them that there's no messing around, all right? Do not be too be don't be too friendly with Germany or there'll be consequences. You know, it didn't matter what they were gonna do, we were gonna invade them anyway, alright? <laughs> it doesn't matter, they could have done chose any course of action from here on, it would have always resulted in us invading. Uh, over Ireland, maybe would Germany get involved? I don't know, but uh Who knows? Revolution has not yet, however, engulfed Ireland, and so the war is needed to resolve the current Irish situation. There we go, we instant oh we declare war with that focus. Should we see if we can come to some sort of arrangement or should we send them back to Ireland? Let's send them away. We will not talk to them. We have a naval invasion already already prepared. We're not we're not unpreparing the invasion, all right? It's going to happen. And so it was. A loyal Irish government would be put in place, but not before we declared war on them and conquered them. So here's that montage. <laughs> army has shattered in the face of our armed forces. In the meantime, we must decide on the future of Ireland. Some argue that Ireland should be annexed into the Union of Britain, while others argue that this would be an act of unsocialist imperialism, and that doing so would not be supported by the Irish people, bringing us into a bloody guerrilla war. So obviously we're not going to annex, because we're going autonomous, so it doesn't make any sense that we'd annex them. I think either, I think setting up a socialist republic, or limited self-government i think limited self-government is going to be the best option here we lose five percent stability right we lose 100 political power i don't really care but we do they become a puppet of us right and that's good so ireland will be granted limited self-governance america has joined the th what that's a whole country central america just the all of san salvador is the capital of Cent central america why aren't these guys a part of central america they must be integrated immediately with a name like that. I'm just kidding. Look at this. Totalist. Oh, dear. All right, that's a bit, a, bit, a bit extreme, but okay. Nineteen forty, the big war is here. Yes, the Second World Krieg, the World War Two, the Second Great War, whatever you want to call it, it has finally arrived in nineteen forty. To say the least, look, the camera is the sun. Wait, what is this? Oh, com I was just wondering, what what is this? Bermuda, that's a. Okay, wait, hang on. The France just declared war on a. Uh... On Germany, and they might be pushing into Germany here. We should send an army over immediately. I was thinking we just send like one of these guys. We're gonna do convoy raiding of the Eastern North Sea. Uh, the Channel Fleet are gonna patrol in the Channel, and the, this task force is just gonna go back into reserves. Okay, that should be everything. War in Western Europe. There it is. We have yep full control over the seas. Exactly. Mongolia capitulated. Russia declared war on Ukraine. Russia, the Russian Republic. Yes, Dmitry Romanov has come to help us as well. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, we can finally go down the part of the focus tree where we have to be at war with Germany. Class warfare. War is upon us. War is upon us. And to preserve our great nation and secure our liberty, all working men must now unite for victory. We should promote the spirit of unity, self-sacrifice, and most of all, renewed class consciousness to argue, uh, augment our war effort. 5% war support, add class war. Recruitable population factor 2% and 10% factory output. Okay, look, so I was actually having a lot of trouble keeping control or supremacy over the North Sea, honestly. Like, I don't know how I screwed up not winning with the British Navy. I mean, I guess it isn't the Royal Navy, but, you know, it's the, the, the other British Navy, which is still pretty good. I don't know how we started losing, man. It was just watch. We not have any... The North Sea fleet has been, like, utterly 
annihilated. We need a. Oh god, we, we, no, I'm not eating into all of my battleships. Whoever is writing these letters must be some sort of genius and could possibly be of help to us. <laughs> find that person, alright, let's find this guy. So apparently there's this guy who's going around filling in crossword puzzles and he's very good at it and he must be like some sort of genius because, I don't know, he just is. And then he apparently he helps us somehow but later in the video. Large avenues. Ah, uh, shocked as Parisians looked on, the German army once more paraded through the path. Yeah, this is, yeah. Second, it seems see, sees a familiar ending to the first. The second world Krieg, it seems, sees a similar ending to the first. That is what the Germans would like to think. They would love to think that once they took Paris, we would give up, but we would not. We would keep fighting. Even if France were to fall, we would stay fighting across the channel and not sign a peace with honor because we knew that our friends in Russia were coming closer and closer to their homeland. We found this guy who's solving the hardest crossword puzzles. Alan Turney. Uh, he try he first tried to evade our men, but after some time, calmed down, and in fact, he already had a project in mind. Okay. Yeah, all right, we'll grow on the funds. You know, we'll see. I'm interested. I'm, tr I'm interested to see what's gonna come of this. Indicates they're doing well. All right, mate. Oh, I wish I could send volunteers now. There you go. Bulgaria just invaded Romania. That's huge. That's crazy. That gives Russia such an easy access. So wait, did Bulgaria join the Moscow Accord? No, they should join the Moscow Accord. Yes! Yes! The combined syndicates of America, come on. They have to be victorious, right? They have to be. I mean, yeah, you saw how much stuff we sent them. They gotta be like fully kitted out on supply and they all that part of America would have been cords and then they would have had a bunch of manpower, surely. So you'd think that they would defeat Canada and New England, right? She's doing something. Ukraine just capitulated. Russia is a menace. Russia is a menace. Non aggression pack, thank you. The village near the former cottage of Bletchley Park has finally seen success. He has constructed a strange machine called Pudding after the Yorkshire Pudding. Turning was in, uh, okay. Turning in an important edge in any, any military conflict. Okay, it doesn't even give us like a, a flat bonus. It just gives us like, or a passive bonus. It just gives us electronics. Cool, okay. Anyway, because of our Navy was destroyed in the, nor in the North Sea, and we were completely vulnerable there. The Entente actually invaded us and then we got an event. It was a, it was a horrible event. Rise of British loyalists. With the Dominion of Canada having taken a foothold in Ab Aberdeenshire. Where's that? Oh, there. The monarchists, who always knew have been present among us, have had a pretentious time driving out into the open. They have shown themselves and risen up. Their appearance has been sent shockwaves throughout Britain. Though the ministers have assured the government matter that should be established within, mon uh, within months. With any luck, this is our opportunity to wipe out the Canadians and loyalists both. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna get rid of these guys. How is that even? How do you do Navy in this game? I quit. I quit. Navy is impossible. I literally chucked, like, I made three f fleets. I made a fleet for here, a fleet for here, and a fleet for here. And I still, I just divided it into thirds and made a submarine army to go raid somewhere. How could have my Navy failed? I don't under... What is this? Oh, and here we are, back to raging at Hearts of Iron 4. Great. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was angry, and I, I don't blame myself. How did our Navy die? I don't understand. And just like that, they leave. Get out of here. Fortunately, we made our home army really, really strong. I'll show you the division design later, where I actually am making my Coast Guard stronger than my normal infantry army now, just because defending the island is very important. No! No! What? As if there wasn't a peace deal that was like... That was like, okay, we'll stop fighting if you can have, like, Boston and stuff. No! Oh my gosh, you're joking. I've never seen New England exist before. This is like in the Entente and everything. Like, fully our enemy. Oh, that's such a disaster, man. That is like, pinnacle of disaster. Minsk. Oh! Yes, Russia is still pushing. Good. Slowly but surely, they're crawling over. And um, I want to see if I can break through. 
Why are they here, man? It's so annoying when they don't automatically redeploy to the front, and there's nothing you can do about it. The fall of Riga. Yeah. Russia was putting in the putting in the work, man. They were taking city after city after city, and we were just sitting on our asses doing nothing. Literally, just so I actually was meant, wanted to do something, right? So I was determined to get through that front line. Britannia, uh, Britannia does in fact not rule the waves, but okay. Uh, we are very <laughs> not ruling the waves right now, so. Uh, I don't know if this focus should even be yeah, allowed to be done because I am definitely not ruling no waves. It was 1943 and the stalemate was finally over. With Russia putting more and more pressure on Germany, we are able to now push to at least Belgium, right? Oh, oh, we've actually, no way. Okay, let's go, Calais. No part of Calais. No part of Calais. What am I, what am I talking about? I mean, why not? Get that, do that plane. We're going out here. Pin them with these guys. It's just beautiful. And in light of this newfound momentum, we sent out, we sent a naval invasion to Dunkirk to hopefully take it. We have landed, I repeat, we have landed. Let's add a second thingy, my bob, here, there. And then these guys can go across the channel with absolutely... No supremacy. Where's convoy escort? We got a convoy escort now because these guys will be going across the channel. Can't just be going off the channel. Channel with no, no help. Anyway, uh, that'd be great. Get these guys in Calais, and they would fully connect the front line. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. This might actually lead to maybe the capitulation of Belgium, which is actually really big because Belgium probably have a decently sized army that we want to get rid of. Which, well, yeah, I think we're just going to cap. There we go. Brussels is taken. What's the capitulation? 100%. There it is. We actually capitulated Flanders, Wallonia. And that's like a bunch of French territory liberated. Okay. Um, next step is the Netherlands. All right. And then have Germany, maybe? Maybe Germany? Uh, I don't know. But they have less troops on the border now because they capitulated. So I think, I think that's how it works. All encircled. They do have that port, actually. But, well, hopefully not for long. This has been at 99. There we go, finally. Okay. Look, okay, we finally have insane encirclement. That is... No, not there. I want these guys going around. Yes, the tremendous success of our invasion of Dunkirk led to this encirclement of... I don't know how many troops that is, but it's a lot of troops. And the capitulation of Belgium. I mean, I mean, Flanders, Wallonia, actually. But can you... Very successful. Things are good now. Things are great. Alright, 1944. Here we are. We're alive, and uh, I don't know what's going on, but we've been put in this position. Now this was me coming back after I've just studied for an exam, and I've, it's been a while since I played this game, so I took like a huge break and I forgot what, what was happening, and now, now we're back, and I've been putting this, put in this position, and I'm going to win. Unfortunately, things begun taking a turn from the worst when the Germans attack from behind. It's yes, we still got, yeah, we still got green air over the Benelux, so pushing here might actually pull through. Why? Why? Why did we stop attacking? There's no reason. We're at 90. Okay, where's the force attack? These guys. Um, 17. Oh, we can't even force attack. Yeah, okay, we did it. We did it. Okay, okay. Push through and we're going to Amsterdam. If we can capitulate the Netherlands here, I will be ecstatic, okay? I'll be a very happy man. Dude, as soon as we get this modern tank chassis, I'm building the best tank you've ever seen, guys. Oh, I want to get the good planes as well. How how did they cut through that, man? Oh my. Okay, we better hope we don't. Oh gosh, I'm glad we got supply here with all these ports, because that would have been, if we hadn't got like, if we just had one port, man, that would have been awful. Okay, so I know it looks bad, but this is actually a good thing, I promise. So we're gonna withdraw our troops, right? Back to the, back across the channel to our home. But then, if you looked at the actual front line, there's more troops in this pocket than there are defending the front line. So I promise you, once we go back there, it's such e it's like so easy to push. I could surely push through that. We're liberating France. I don't know why where their army went. Oh god. Sometimes Hoi 4 just does this. Like, I think they're all here, to be honest. Now keep this pocket, alright? Pocket of resistance. We're coming. We're coming quickly. Jeez. 
I mean, look at it. Look at this. We could just easily just walk through like it's nothing. I mean, the, I don't know if whether if it was our invasion, like they have to redeploy troops to cover that and the front, and they couldn't do it. I'm not sure, but this was way too easy. Now they're doing this thing, man, where they're like, it's too too low supply. No one cares, man. Okay, we're building up the infrastructure just so we can distribute supply better, and then we also got to build up the railways. The fall of Amsterdam and. The Netherlands is, where, where are they, man? Yeah, they're gonna capitulate. There it is, 100%. Boom, Netherlands capitulated. Oh my gosh, free encirclement. That's, how did we get that encirclement? It just happened. Dude, we're actually just walking into Germany. Thank you, Russia, but now we're gonna take Berlin. <laughs> Literally, they did everything. They took all the casualties. Just like real, this, it's just like real life, guys. Except they actually took Berlin in real life. Oh, look at that, man. This guy, incompetent leader, right? Kaiser, the, the Wilhelm II did better than this guy. As soon as this guy gained to power, well, I don't actually, was it as soon as this guy gained to power? I don't know. Is that good? 10, 9 point, you know. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Yes, that is our modern tank. Thank you. Okay, that'll uh, be 500 billion factories on that, please. And by 1945, the European War would finally come to an end, but a new war would start, over the Atlantic. Collapse of the Reich's Pact. Peace deal has been signed between, I don't know, something and something. Uh, Bulgaria. Oh, Bulgaria, oh, France? Wait, what? What, what? I'm so confused. Um... I don't know why this is like this, but okay. Uh, let's just take land that technically would belong to us. Wait, where? Okay, obviously I think we should grab Netherlands, all right? But, oh, we do not have a lot of stuff. Holland, all right, that's ours. And uh, I'll take those, I'll take these areas here. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna fight us for it. Do we have more points in them? No. Oh dear. I'm going to see if we can, though. Just these ones. Oh, we might actually be able to do it. Oh, we secured the Netherlands! Would you look at that? Oh, then there's overseas territories. I don't think, about, I don't think we'll do that. Ukraine, oh, oh, that's all Russia, to be honest. And, uh... I will take some, um... Some navy, if I don't mind. Just screening ships and stuff, but whatever. The fall of Berlin. All right, that should be the end of Germany as well. 98. Come on, man. What do you mean 98? Oh, Hamburg. That's gone. There it is. Okay, that's it. German Empire is capitulated. All right, we got to annex as much as we can. We can liberate. No, I'm not liberating, right? No liberating. Okay, what, what should we even... Okay, firstly, we should start with our territory that is next to the Netherlands. We just don't have that much war score. Ooh, I'm just going to do as much as we can. Oh, they're starting to fight us for it. Alright, just get everything we can. That's good. To be honest, we did pretty much everything. I can try and contest. Wait, which one is me actually contesting it? Which one is... Okay, I'm going to try... Okay, I'm going to forget that one. Does this mean I've selected it? Does that mean I've selected it? No, that that is selected. That's unselected. That's unselected. Good. Just that. Just that. Just this one, please. Please. I would like it. There we go. Okay. Oh, I want this. I can get it. Oh my god, I stole it. Can I steal some other things? Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Uh. Oh dear, it's not. I can steal that. I can steal it. No way. Oh, I stole it. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything we can get. We got like 600 points left. Everything next to us is like officially done. All right, that's it. They're still fighting over that. But yeah. Oh, there's also all this territory here. Wait, no, that's different. Okay, whatever. Pass the rest. Confirm and exit. Okay. All right, let's check Slovakia done. All right, let's annex what we can. It's literally just that apparently, which is already being contested. 
and uh, I can't even grab that. Oof. Like I think I want to. I I don't think I want to grab stuff that's like out of the way. Like I want to be able to take stuff that's next to the land I've already annexed. So I think it would just make sense like that. Perfect. Anything else that we can sneak? Oh, we can grab Prague. Can we sneak Prague? Can we steal it from Russia? Yes, we can. Can we steal anything else? No. All right. Cool. Confirm and exit. Beautiful. Focus on the land that we annexed. All right. Firstly, the fate of the Netherlands, right? After a short campaign across the marshes and the urban centers of the Netherlands, we have managed to take down their proud nation with the Wilhelma or whatever her name was. The Netherlands are now, uh, the capital of the Netherlands is now in our hands. We must decide on its future. We can liberate it and it becomes a puppet. Okay. We can, oh, I, oh God. Give Belgian syndical republic their claims and liberate the rest. Maintain the occupation. Now we're going to liberate the Netherlands, right? They're going to be a puppet. Beautiful, look at this, the Batavian Commune, all right, Radical Socialist, beautiful, and fate of Germany, all right, we're going to deal with Germany, so we can form a free socialist Germany, right, free, uh, form a free, yeah, we can do that, uh, split Germany into smaller states, decisions will appear to decide the fate of individual regions, that's low-key what I might do, or maintain the occupation, they've got Prussia here, and if we make a Germany, then that will be kind of like, we have Germany, they've got Berlin, doesn't make any sense. So we would have to split it into smaller states. Like, if it's in control of Berlin, it would have to be named Germany, right? But they don't have control of it, so... Um, split Germany into smaller states, I think is going to be the option here. And fate of Bohemia, what are we going to do? Liberated Czech state, yeah, we have, that's the only option, so... There we go. Czech state, we got a uh, Czechia, radical socialist, this guy over here, beautiful. And then the fate of Northern Germany. Release a, a loyal North German state. Give it to uh, these guys or maintain. We're going to release a loyal North German state. And there's still some land that we've uh, got to deal with. Yes, the fate of Brandenburg. Right, that's like this area. Maintain the occupation. Give it to our North German allies. I think we should, yeah, just give it to our North German allies. Anything else? There should be more. I mean, look, I mean, look at all this. Look at all this stuff here. It may come in a sec. There we go. The fate of Saxony. That'll also go to our North German allies. And then I'm guessing up here we'll just go to our North German allies. Yes. Oh, and there's still one more bit of land, right? That we... Fate of Northern something. Yeah, there we go. That's our only option. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get our dudes back on our homeland. Finally, the war in Europe was over. Everything was sorted out. All right. We don't care about Russia, right? <laughs> well, we're going to war with Russia. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway. We gotta focus on Algeria and the Entente first, right? Gotta get rid of them, and then I wanna be at peace, because then we can devil, devil, de devolutionize our country or whatever the hell, whatever. And of these divisions, they're pretty good, okay? I would, I would hope that would land. Take Barcelona. That's a holiday destination for our troops. And they'll be happy. Oh, Spain just capitulated. Okay, we did like a lot of that. Let's just annex, like, let's get Gibraltar. Wait. Oh, there, let's go Gibraltar, right? <laughs> Just like the old British Empire. I want this. And I want and I want this. Yes. And I want this, and I want this, and I want this. Beautiful. No, demanding that. And I want, I want... This. And I want, and I want... Oh, do I want... No, I don't want Catalonia. Look, they can have northern Spain. I'll, I'll take southern Spain. Oh, we can't take Madrid. Yeah, I'll take, I'll, I'll take that away. That's fair, right? Look at this. This is fair. Oh, we can take Madrid. Oh, it looks like we're taking Madrid, guys. What else can we steal? Can we just steal everything? Nah, this is... I, I want to be fair at the same time. But to be fair, that is why these exist. Like, Nah, France should get this, right? They kind of do deserve it. What else is there? Oh, that's it. All right. Confirm and exit. Catalonia. Yeah, you know what? Okay, they just get that. That's fine. Cool. Yeah, that's 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 fine. The fall of Algiers. There we are, and we have naval no air superiority. Okay, is that the end of France? No, it would never be the end of France. Surely we just take the north. I'm not gonna worry about attacking in the south. All right. Like, come on. Good. Unfortunately, they still have German troops. Look at them. Desperate. Desperate for help. 
There it is. All right, that, that was all us. We deserve all of this. Can I just go select all? No, I can't. No, we're getting all the... Oh, God, we can't even... And we deserve that. And while we're at it, we're going to deserve the coastline of this. Oh, we can't. What else? Demand that. And, uh... We're already demanding that. I'll put my... My vote in for that. What else? Malta. They have Malta? It's a bit weird. There we go. Alright, that's enough. I'm happy with that. Okay, just give us Malta, please. Give it to us. Oh my gosh. There we go. That'll do. Beautifully done. Okay, we've made it through all the capitulations of France and Spain and Portugal and whatever. Um, and now it's... Wait, Portugal hasn't capitulated yet. Anyway, let's now it's time to click all the buttons to t make countries, I guess. Firstly, the fate of Spain. We have four options here. We can establish a socialist Spain with everything that we've got with Madrid. We can establish a socialist, socialist Spain, but split off Basque Country and Galicia and Catalonia. All right, well, Galicia's already, like, done like that. I don't think I want to... Occupy Spanish heartland, we'll do what we have to maintain the occupation. Well, no, we're going to establish a socialist Spain. I think that's fair. There we go, look at that. Spanish Socialist Republic. Beautiful. That's Blue de Louvre. The fate of Tunisia. Um, liberate Tunisia, we can maintain occupation. Well, main, uh, occupying would be very unsocialist of us and be a, in, a form of imperialism, which we could not agree with and absolutely condemn, so we gotta liberate Tunisia. We gotta liberate all this. Liberate a loyal Algeria. Uh, yeah, we have to liberate it all. Form the state of Maurita Mauritania. So I'm form the state of the Ivory Coast. Still form the state of Guinea. Oh, the fate of Corsica. Where's Corsica? Here. Um, give it to the Commune of France. That's just, yeah. Sierra Leone. Form the state of Serie Leon, Upper Volta, there we go, and Malta. We can give it to our Italian allies. Release Malta as a puppet. We're gonna release it as a puppet. I don't see why we should give it to the Italians. They didn't do anything to get that, but whatever. Cool, is that everything? Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff here. Ivory Coast capitulated, oh, oops. Return Spanish lands. Oh, okay. Wait, is that include oh Gibraltar and stuff? You know what? Yes, we'll just return it to them. Imperialism. We can't. We can't do, be doing that. And finally, the last people we were at war with was Norway and Sweden. So we dealt with them quickly before we actually went to America. But to get to America, we also had to go through Denmark so we could get Greenland to be able to naval invade. Because I wasn't going to try naval invade from Ireland all the way over to America. That it's not going to happen. It's impossible. And there is a Swedish peace deal that we have quite a few points in. We actually have the most points. So why? Oh, we just can't afford that straight up. All right. Well, I think we're going to start with um, some important areas. Might take some islands. Or should we just take... No, nah, we'll take... We'll just keep... Oh, God. Dude, they're going to try and take so much. Finland actually deserves up there, but we'll take some, some uh, bits of land. There we go. Look at us. Oh, no, France. It's mine. Oh, I want that. I want that. Okay, hang on. There we go. We should be able to get it now. And that's the only thing we can get. Oh, we can get that one as well. Alright, this should be good. If we just select that. The oh, we can take this. <laughs> Let's just steal it all from France. Why does France get it? We did all the work. Alright, that's it. That's everything we can get. I don't know what... France has just taken this. We should give it back to us, man. Oh, what's this? This part. Where is this? I'm taking it. Oh, it's Finland. I changed my mind. They can have that. I don't care. There we go. Beautiful. A lot of Sweden has been liberated. Into socialism. 
And now, we attack Norway. There it is, we got the Swedish commune. Beautiful. Can't have the occupation of Sweden. Boy, socialist, doesn't make it, doesn't work like that. Declare war, and these guys were in the Reich's Pact, I swear to God, so you know. Just some cleaning up, just some cleaning up, there we go, come on, in. Oh, we have to call these guys. I should've just called to arms immediately, and we need to call these guys. I should've just called allies straight away. Beautiful, now we have Greenland. Hopefully they don't get invaded straight away. Let's get these boys over here. And these guys set up on a naval invasion from Greenland into... It's gonna have to be here. I mean, that's the only place I can think that would actually be good. I'm gonna add these tanks to it, actually. Yep, and that was the entirety of 19, what, 46? Yeah, 46. And uh, pre be prepared for, like, not many events happening within the rest of these years until we get to, like, the 50s, because most of the rest of the years are just me failing naval invasions. How are they surviving? It's okay, we've got a whole bunch of, we got 10 reserves. There's no way they can last all of them. Right? Uh how? It's it's losing organization though, but not as much. It's not as fast as I'd like. Oh my gosh, it didn't work. Right, that's it. There's actually dudes there. But it's okay, we're winning. Please land. How do they have dudes on their whole coat? Look at this! They got dudes on the whole coastline, and then now that we're there, they're gonna attack us. And it's gonna be ridiculous, because we won't be able to build a port. We've lost. We're losing that attack, we're losing this. This is the only one we could win. Gosh, now we're getting attacked, but we're holding it. That's the most important thing. Okay, cool, I don't care about Africa right now. Okay, we got it? Okay, now. Naval base, 10. At the very top, highest priority. This is the correct, yes, good. Okay, we're building a naval base here. This was like the riskiest, craziest move ever. So I was landing where there was no port and then I was going to build a port myself because I could not capture one. Oh my God, I was in the middle of just on my phone. I, oh my gosh, no, this is no, 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 no. They can't just do that, man. That's cheating. Thank you. Uh, we need, it looks like we need some dudes here just defending. Um, I'll put like one whole like group in charge of this. Dude, can we drop a nuclear bomb? Why, wait, what do we need for nukes? 75% SP already, one strategic bomber. This is what they get. This is actually what they deserve. Get absolutely destroyed. Atomic bombing of Nova Scotia. The atomic era has truly begun. There it is. Uh, that's what you guys deserve, okay? I was angry because it had been like three years and we hadn't invaded them yet, so I literally just started nuking them, I was so angry. I do not want to play until 1960 again, however it is looking increasingly like my, that like that might happen. Maybe a Boston bro. Why couldn't these just guys, why couldn't these guys just be the syndicates? And then Canada would be dead by now, and we'd all be happy. Everything it would be game over, right? I mean, if we leave it on a on a cliffhanger here, we wouldn't play it because you know who does that, dude. Look at Japan. We have to take out the Moscow Accord. We have to, but that's only once we do the Entente. Uh, don't hold me on that. I just no, never said that. I, we never said I, I never said I had to do that again. Ignore what I just said. Just completely ignore it. We actually got like the tip of Mexico, isn't it crazy? And this is just not, this is just endless. Just stop attacking. Finally, oh my gosh. All right. All these guys? Forget about that little pocket, we're going here. And now the perilous journey from the South Mexico all the way into Canada would begin and hopefully it would be done within a year. And it, yeah, it is. These guys are annoying, let's nuke them. Let's nuke them. Ha ha ha! Get nuked. Up in flames. Boom! Beautiful. They have a lot of planes here, actually. I want to nuke this spot as well. Dude, we just destroyed all their planes. Um, Sacramento. What about here? Can we nuke here? How many planes do they have? A lot. Goodbye, all planes. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, the amount of nuclear bombs we are dropping. This is, like, 
unprecedented. That is also a lot of planes here. Last one. Last two, actually. Oh, the entire... Dude, the Pacific coast of America has just been abso absolutely decimated by nuclear weapons. Like, how do they come back from that? That's it. America capitulated. Died so many guns. Perfect. The fall of Boston. Now all that is left is Canada. Just America. Okay, let's take as much of America as we get. Mexico too. But America is like the most important one. Firstly, I'm taking the list, all right? This is like the, the American land that you want. And then obviously you want uh, the East Coast and the West Coast. So we're going to take all this. All right, this is all the good stuff. Beautiful stuff right there. Submit those demands. We're just going to make sure we get all that. Oh, France are demanding a bunch of stuff. Italy has demanded a bunch of stuff. I want America. Dude, they actually like divided this into two. Dude, how do I get that part? Dude, I'm just selecting as much as I can. Um. I want this, 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 this. Italy did nothing. Don't even try. I want this, this, this. I do want California. Uh, you know, I'll just take it all. How does this sound? I think this is a beautiful, beautiful... Like, oh, we don't... We can't. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can take... Okay, we can't. We can take this much. Demand that. And let's take, let's take that, let's take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, take, okay, we can't take that. Beautiful. Yeah, where does this get us? Um, with the majority of the stuff. Oh, I want this. Dude, I'm stealing all of their territory. It's not even funny. Like, do demand that. I'm demanding all that. I need to demand this. This was all me, all right. What else? Uh, I'll take that as well. Oh my gosh! Did we just take all of America? Oh, we did. Oh wait, there's all of uh, there's Northern Ireland. We can take Northern Ireland. There's Portugal and stuff. There's Panama, Gold Coast. Okay, I don't really care. Uh, Alaska, we're going to take. Norway, okay, no, we're going to take Norway. All of Norway, there we go. Dude, I, I love how we can just annex everything. What is going on? Uh, we can take the navy. Of, okay, it's just screening ships. Uh, you know, let's select Northern Ireland. That's ours now. I don't know why Italy selected it. It should probably go to Ireland, but we'll see. This will be the last one I take. Um, I'm just gonna take this. Perfect, I'm happy with that. And there goes Canada, and we will be taking all of it. Alright, so, oh, they didn't take it, that's part of Canada, okay, my bad. This is all mine. No one steal it. Oh, that was easy. And this last bit. And we'll take the Navy. Oh, they got like the whole British Navy. Yes. Excellent. Confirm and exit. That is what we call the Union of Britain. It's just the entire... Look at that. That is so good. Dude. There's something so satisfying, just entire continents being the same country. We'll do uh, the fate of Mexico. So we can split this guy, split uh, Yucatan from Mexico and release Mexico. What is that? What is Yucatan? Is that that? It is. Why not? It becomes more interesting. Boom. Yucatan. Never even knew that was like, wanted to be independent. Probably didn't even want to be independent. All right, beautiful. Uh, fate of America. Liberate Socialist America. There we have it. Is it still that guy, Jack Reed? I think that's what his name was. We have a lot of lag. A lot of lag. It takes a lot of uh, effort to do this. The Socialist Republic of America arises. 
Oh no, it's a different dude. Norman. Beautiful. Socialist or Socialist Republic of America. Okay, now we got the uh, Canada. Liberate Canada and Quebec. All right, we're gonna make things interesting. Look at that, that's Quebec. Oh my gosh, it's some French dude. And then obviously the Commune of Canada and there's all this, I don't know that's part of Canada, I suppose. Beautiful, and lastly, but not least, establish a Norwegian Republic. Beautiful, beautiful. Now that we are finally at peace, I can now finally only do the devolution thing now that we were going to do, but then we had to we'd be at peace and Germany could, or France couldn't exist. So now we can do it, yes, very good. That we are finally at peace. Germany doesn't exist. We can do dev devolution, right? We can release Wales and Scotland. The Union of Britain will be known as the Union of England. Politics will change. The Fed cons becomes a ruling party. Public elections will not be held. We have a new leader and uh, they joined the Third International. The Communal Republic has joined the Third International. The Scottish Workers Republic has joined the Third International. Look at him. Oh, that's him. That's the guy that was our leader. Now we have, uh, we have this guy. He doesn't look nearly as cool. And we've got the English flag. Look at that, it's literally England. I'm surprised it's not different because we're, we're, we're socialist or syndicalist. But uh, okay, now we can do the another Congress of the Trade Unions. The world has changed in the last few years and now would be blah, 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 blah. The rest of the focuses aren't that interesting. It's just that one bit. Um, I don't know why the focuses still expect you to be at war, probably with... Uh, Probably like the next war set up, but I was just too tired. And this video would have taken way too long to get out if I continued playing through this state, taking on the Moscow Accord. So, I mean, I was busy with exams and stuff, right? Normally I would, but I was busy. I had exams at uni and whatever. So, it, sorry, but it's all good. Boom. Ooh. Onwards, British industry. Bill, 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 we must aid the deprived. Yeah, let's do this one. We're aiding deprived citizens. And then this just gives us political power. We're done. We're done here. This is kind of tiny focus tree. Not gonna lie. Doesn't matter. Okay, we're done here. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and shout out to my Patreons. I'll see you guys in the next one.